not a game, it's a rage thing. Hello everybody and welcome back to another YouTube video. If you are new here, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you have not done so already. Um, I am Andrea and I do all types of nail videos. But y'all, even though I just told y'all my name, don't be going around calling me Andrea now. Okay, we don't do that. Not the whole government. Y'all gonna call me Drea. Um, but anyways, y'all. I do like all types of nail videos and hauls and all that nail related whatnot. So, today... I'm bringing y'all my application and shaping for short nails. I've said this on my channel plenty of times, but I'm not the one that likes doing short nails because my bees be too big or they be too wet and it's just product be all under the nails and stuff like that. So I never used to like doing short nails, but I'm getting a lot better as I familiarize myself a little bit more with my liquid to powder ratio as I, you know, get better with cuticle application and all of that. Like I can see a little progress in my application when it comes to short nails. So I just wanted to share you guys, share that with you guys because you know this channel is all about sharing my progress and sharing my fails and just my just my journey basically. Um, so you guys can grow with me So y'all need to come up a name for y'all y'all know how every youtuber have a name for like they subscribers What am I gonna call y'all the fuck? I'll think of it. Why Adrian stop doing that to my back? Um, yeah, I'm gonna think of like a cute little name because you know we some thugs over here y'all know that already we go through this all the time Okay, we some thugs over here. We some gangster bitches. So I'll think of a raw name for y'all because yeah. We not selling for needless. We 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 not about to pick no no name like um sweetie pies or fucking y'all, I don't know. We just gonna think of a hard ass name for us. Anyway, so I'm just talking in a video just going. I already put a small clear bead of acrylic on her natural nails before I went in with this new and this is cover pink by young nails um, what I started doing when I use full coverage acrylics as in like cover colors I do not encapsulate them anymore I used to but I don't and especially because these were short nails too I didn't want to encapsulate them and add like extra thickness to the nails because you know they're short nails then you don't want no short bulky nails baby no so what I did basically, I basically kind of stuck to like two beads for the most part for this application. I tried to do, I wanted to do one bead, but um, I kind of chickened out and just stuck to my two, three beads. Some nails I would add um, an extra bead if need be, but for the most part it is two beads. So um, what I started doing, and y'all, I actually love Young Nails. Young Nails has really good cover colors and if you are interested they are having a sale right now 30 percent off 30 percent off the entire website and it's basically until the 23rd they also have the young nails protein protein bomb for buy one get one free and then they also have their um top coat their ultimate finish for buy one get one free as well and no this is not sponsored or anything i'm not getting paid for this i'm not a brand ambassador or whatever i don't even think young nails has bas but i'm just telling y'all because y'all i have some stuff in my cart from young nails the protein bond and then the acrylics that i that's been sitting in my cart since sunday and i don't know maybe if someone comments and say that they bought something it'll make me purchase the stuff because i say this all the time when i go to buy stuff online especially nail products it takes me a while to actually purchase it and then when the sale is over i'm still not going to purchase it i'm gonna be like damn i really missed the sale so i really need to break out of that habit it's just the money be going so fast when you buy nail supplies it don't make no sense um but yeah y'all it's noon o'clock is noon o'clock no noon o'clock is not a word i'm not slow i'm not stupid i just i don't know why the fuck i just said that but it is 12 20 p.m and my kids actually just woke up so that mean i'm just not waking up as well um i've been up since earlier but 
my daughter is very clingy so if i were to get out the bed she would have woke up and she would have been cranky so i just stayed in bed until she woke up so yeah y'all see my acrylic the cuticle application so what i basically do is i make sure my bead isn't too dry but not too wet to the point where it will flood the cuticle and i basically just bounce that acrylic right there in the cuticle area as close to the cuticle area as i could possibly get and i just bounce it until the acrylic naturally just flows in place um i used to be i used to literally overthink this part so much to the point where i would try to push the acrylic up into the cuticles and it would just look bulky it would just look a mess but when i bounce the acrylic when you bounce the acrylic um in that cuticle area it will naturally fall into place and you really don't have to do any work um you let gravity do everything basically so um i'm really excited about this video i don't know why i just feel like this is something different and this is a longer video because this video is in real time y'all love the longer videos y'all like to hear me talk so i this is 42 minutes of me talking i'm probably not gonna be talking throughout the whole video because that's a lot of goddamn talking even for me Do y'all see how nice that look? I know I'll be popping up out of nowhere to talk. But it just looks so nice. And I'm so proud of how far I've... Like, look at that. It's literally almost perfect. Um, I'm just so proud of how far I've come. Like, it's just so crazy. And this is just me adding a little bit more acrylic where I think it's needed. And just keep in mind, when you're doing shorter nails, you don't need, like, a crazy high apex or anything like that. You don't have to focus too hard on the apex because these are short nails so the chances of them like popping off because they're too thin are very slim so yeah so i want to talk to you guys about something so i recently started um going back to school i take classes online and damn i haven't logged in in like a couple days that's bad but I actually um, enroll back in classes. I'm doing child development and business because I want to know why the hell my kids so motherfucking bad. I'm joking. I'm joking. It's just I don't know what else to pick because I really wanted to do business. But I said let me just pick something else. So I want. I really want to start like my own business. I really want to, but I don't know the first steps like i'll try watching videos on youtube but it's like they don't really tell me like everyone says something different and it's just all over the place and i want to do it the right way like i'm not trying to get flagged by the irs i'm not like i want to do this shit the right way i need to know the right documents that i need the right steps that i need to need the right steps that i need to take to basically start my own legitimate business um because I feel like I done did so much and I'm still broke. I done had made so much money in my life and I'm still broke. Like, that's just crazy to me. So, I'm going to start my own business. Of course, it's going to be a nail. My own nail company. 
and this is actually something i wanted to do for years this is not nothing new because i see everybody popping their shit and doing their thing congratulations to them i'm not no hating ass bitch but it's plenty of room for everybody to win but this is something that i wanted to do for so long but i just never really had the money to even start anything i've never had the time and then i had my kids and then i'm like you know what maybe it's just not for me maybe i need, i need to just focus on being a mother but y'all let me tell you something having kids yes you might you might slow down a little bit because you need to you know um focus on them newborns but having kids don't mean that your life ended okay because kids are a blessing as bad as these little motherfuckers may be kids are a blessing so i don't know it's like ever since i started my youtube and actually started doing nails and actually realized that this is something that i actually enjoy doing um i'm like you know what maybe it's the right time for me to actually start putting things in motion and i've actually um reached out to a couple vendors to to send me some products to basically like test out some products and stuff to start getting the feel of things to try to see you know like from now to just get a jump start on things to see what products i actually like and what i don't like so um that's kind of exciting it's kind of expensive though to get these samples from these vendors but you gotta spend money to make money so it's no biggie um i don't know if i want to because i started searching for nail tips like what nail tips i would want and i know they people say you're not supposed to talk about your plans until it's actually set in stone because people would be praying on your downfall but that's okay the god i serve is stronger than any motherfucking voodoo or anything that y'all want to um you know speak on me so i'm just gonna share it with y'all anyways not too much information but give y'all a little bit of like what i'm doing and i also wanted to do like make my own acrylic you know my basically like my own company but i don't know the first thing about it i do not know how these companies be finding these acrylic vendors and how they be making their acrylic and stuff like that i might can figure out how to get the jars and my labels myself but as far as like where they be finding like the their acrylic and how they make their acrylic like that's i just need to do a little bit more research and just search around i'm probably gonna talk to my tax guy and see if he can help me out but yeah that's basically why i'm doing the class so i can know the proper way know the right way i don't want nobody to send me oh i don't want it to be one of those situations where they're like oh i know a guy that can do this for you i know a guy who do your llc for cheap like no baby <laughs> i'm not going to jail with you so yeah that's the little news the little big news i wanted to share with you guys um and i know you guys will support me 100 because you guys are the best um so i've just been really busy with class with work i've actually have not recorded a video since i did those valentine's day nails with the hearts um but i wanted to record a video this week but i work literally every day this week yesterday was my only day off that i have this week i work worked monday i was off tuesday and then i work wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday and then i go back to work monday and i'm off tuesday so yes i'm working eight days in a row um so now this is just me doing the other hand and i'm i did go with my dehydrator and then i'm using my not polished triple x bond i don't really use this um primer that much but sometimes i'll just grab it just to use it because it's there i usually use my young nails protein bond or my no lift primer sometimes i use them together um and just like the first hand i'm doing my small clear b on her natural nail and then i'm gonna go with my young nails cover pink yes i need to order the stuff from young nails um so yeah you guys i really really want to know how they make their acrylics though 
or get the vendors for their crew like i really really want to know like i feel like that's the part that i'm so stuck on <laughs> but um yeah you guys now it's to the point where i feel like i am gonna see this through because usually i'll start stuff and just don't finish it just because i get so discouraged along the way or i get frustrated and yeah i feel like i don't want to do that no more because i want to be able to pay bills and still have extra money left over to do stuff with my kids and stuff like that y'all know how it is like it ain't nobody get no money for taxes this year anyway so it's kind of like something has got to give all this hard work we doing just for what you know And that's what I mean when I say I bounce the acrylic. I basically just put the bead down right there and I, I bounce my brush up and down until the acrylic falls into place. And then once I'm satisfied and once all the acrylic is, um, you know, in the cuticle area, I start to wipe that bead down. Oh, y'all, I have a Amazon haul coming for y'all. Like, I literally been ordering stuff little by little. Like, whenever I have extra money, I'll go on Amazon and just order one thing, order two things. Um, and y'all, I literally have a big ass box full of stuff. I maybe be, I maybe have like 20, maybe like 20 things. And I have a like two three items from walmart i have well if i order this stuff from young <laughs> i have this stuff from young like i just been ordering a bad stuff and i'm gonna share it with you guys but i'm trying to wait until i know i'm done ordering my stuff because i don't want to do the video and then i order like two more things like i'd rather wait until hi riley say hello they need to hear you it's not it's not a video the video is not complete unless you come say hello say ducky ducky y'all she want to act shy what's going on with her today what's my little girl i need to do her hair because she walking around looking like a little boy with her little afro so yeah i just want to wait until i'm finished ordering everything and i know my husband not gonna order me some more stuff because he like to order me stuff not that I'm complaining, but if he if he know or if I show him something that I want, he'll be like, oh, I got you. I got you. 
I got you. And it's like sometimes, can you say no, please? Can you please say no? I promise I won't be sad. Just please. Sometimes tell me no because I don't got no more space to put nothing. And here I am thinking that my nail table had all of this space. Y'all, my nail table is full. There's no room for nothing else. Even if I wanted to put a sanded band in that hole, it's not going to fit. I have no more room for nothing. So y'all stop me from buying shit. Okay, stop me from buying stuff because I have no more room for nothing. My closet in my bedroom is full with these packages. And I have no more space. So I don't know where I'm going to put all this stuff when I start my nail company. And I need like an inventory room. I don't have a garage. I don't have a garage. Okay, I'm probably going to have to buy one of those little closet things off Amazon with the shelves. So you can, yeah. Or I need the... Will you get fun? Do you need like a permit to get like a she shed? Or like, will you get fined by the city or something like that? Because I think I was talking to somebody and I was like, oh, I want a she shed, she shed as like my nail studio. And they was like, oh, because you want the city to come shut you down? I was like, damn, bitch, you just bust my bubble like that. The fuck? Like, <laughs> let me have my hopes and dreams. You just want to tell me I'm going to get shut down by the city.
so you guys know what I was just thinking about I was supposed to do another dynamic haul for y'all like a couple months ago and that stuff is still sitting in my cart I don't know what be wrong with me like I don't know but I just now remember that like was not supposed to do a haul a dynamic haul for you guys Okay, so after I am finished my application, you guys, y'all, I'm just letting the video play and I'm not even noticing what's going on because I'm over here playing Township on my iPad. Um, I just bought an Apple Pencil, so I've been, it's like I love this pencil, so I don't know why, but I really love this Apple Pencil and I'm just sitting here tapping, tapping, tapping. But now I'm just using my 5-in-1 drill bit and I am going to seal the cuticles of her nails. Um, there's not really much that needs to be done to these nails because they do look really good as they are. But I'm just going to seal her cuticles and I am going to, um, if I need to, it's not... not much but if i need to i am going to um take the drill bit and go underneath the nails as well just if there's any like acrylic that got stuck up under there that's what i'm going to be doing and then right after i'm finished sealing her cuticles i'm going to go with my 100 grit nail file and i'm going to crisp up these nails with that hand file and that's my favorite part like the shape just be poking through and i'll be like hey girl like you look good so yeah that's what i'm gonna be doing y'all
dome literally looks perfect. I just had to jump in and say that because I just looked up at the screen. I'm like, whoa, did I do that? Yeah, it looks so good. I'm so proud of myself because I really came a long, long, long way. If y'all look back at my very first video that I did on YouTube, then yeah, y'all would literally see like that thing was so bad. It was so bad. Okay, so when it comes to filing nails, I actually um, started doing something different than what I usually do. And that's basically when I file the sides of the nails, I then take my nail file and I go underneath the nails and I shape up underneath the nails. And that just gives the nails like this crispness. Oh, I said it right, you guys. I, it gives the nail like this level of crispness that is just it just makes the nails look so good especially on short nails and do you guys see how even my application is like period like who is coming for me um so anyways you guys um after i'm finished filing all her nails as i usually would i flip her nail her hands over so that way i'm looking at her nails from her perspective so i can make sure that the nails are 100 100 even and um just to make sure you know they're not crooked or anything like that because you don't want that you don't want for because you know some clients they're too like scared to say when they don't like something so just to you know avoid the client being you know like uncomfortable or knowing they don't like the nails and not saying nothing just make sure you don't skip this step so the nails are absolutely straight because it's been plenty of times where i went to go get my nails done and then i'm in the car and i'm looking at my hands and i'm like whoa I know that's not my nails leaning like that like so yeah just to make sure you don't this is a step you don't want to skip um and then I'm just gonna move to the next hand and I'm gonna do the same exact thing um I've gotten a lot of criticism from other nail techs for this but I have been told that when I file the nails I'm not supposed to file the tip of the nail side to side because that makes it crooked I'm supposed to take the hold the nail file straight and file it that way but to each its own I do what works for me and not only do I use my nail side to side I also use my nail nail file straight up so yeah just uh, mind your business and do what works for you so that's what I started doing and 
it just makes the nails look uh, super crisp and just super square. So here's a better angle of me. Look at the, how even my application is. Do y'all see that thumb? Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm sorry, but I'm just so proud. I had to say came out. So I here's a better angle of me shaping her nails. So it's basically it's not really much to it. Don't overthink it. I just flip her hand over and I just make sure it's bro look how how even y'all that's it that's it end of the video end of the video that's it So now I am going to be using my little mini buffer block that I got off Shein. And I like to use these buffer blocks when I'm doing shorter nails. When I do longer nails, I like to use those rectangle, those rectangle buffer blocks. So yeah, I'm just going to buff out all the scratches out of her nails before I go in with my top coat. And I'm actually not going to show that in this video because um, this video is mainly just to focus on my application and my shaping of short nails. So this is the closing of this video you guys after I buff the nails and I clean off all the dust off the nails. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this long video. I know I didn't talk the whole 42 minutes but shit I talked enough. I talked enough. So um, I'll try to edit a video and upload another video tomorrow or within the next two days for you guys. Um, I hope everyone has a blessed day and be safe. And y'all, I'm about to go get me something to eat because y'all know I'm always hungry. <laughs> so anyways, guys, I'll see y'all in my next video. Love y'all. Don't forget, if you've watched it to the end of this video, I know there are a few people that usually do watch my videos to its entirety. I want to say thank you. Thank you to all my supporters. Thank you to everyone who has been on this journey with me um this long i truly and truly 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 generally appreciate you guys because um you guys are what makes this channel so yeah you guys 
I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.